Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. We're tired of this pandemic. We've had to change our lifestyles, the things we do, where we go, and all of us are anxious to get back to normal life. However, I think that some of these changes are with us to stay. Something like how a few of the changes after 9-11 have lasted even 19 years later. But that doesn't make any of it easier to deal with, particularly as the situation has lingered on and on. So as we find ourselves in this situation, and as this situation continues, I have found my mind drifting to a rather unusual place in the Bible, a place we don't often turn. So this week I want us to explore a few verses from the book of Lamentations. Some of us may not even realize that there is a book of Lamentations in the Bible. It's a small book and not one we ever look at very much but it is a book that speaks well to our time. You will find this short book right after the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah prophesied during the time that Babylon came and besieged Jerusalem and conquered it and took the Jewish people off into exile. The book is actually a series of Psalms that are laments over what has happened to God's people and longing to get back to their homeland much the same as we long to get back to the world we recognize without the virus. To be honest, most of Lamentations is full of bitterness and hurt and blame, so it's not something we tend to read often. But in the midst of all that, in the midst of a devastated people crying out to God, there is a beautiful section of hope and we find it in chapter three. This week, we're going to look at this passage verse by verse to find hope for our time. Our verses from Lamentations three today are verses 22 and 23. And of all the verses we'll look at this week, these may be my favorites. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. What a powerful reminder to us, particularly as we continue to struggle with our times. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. In all the things we cannot count on, in all the things that fall away and fade, God's love never does. And if there's anything we need more than anything else, the steadfast love of God is it. And more, God's mercies are new every morning. The fears of the night, the worries and the troubles all vanish away in the light of God's love and mercy. We have a God on whom we can depend. As the verses say, great is God's faithfulness. In fact, in case you hadn't been able to tell, these verses are the foundation of the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Listen to the first verse and refrain to hear the astounding promises of God's love and faithfulness to us no matter what. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassions they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. 
even in the midst of all that is happening in our world. There's one thing we know, one thing we can count on. God is faithful to us. God's promises are sure. God's steadfast love never ends. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.